Hey guys, um, while we're on the subject of pipes, I just want to show you the last two that I think are kind of useful. And these are the uh, iron pipes and obsidian pipes. Mm -hmm. So the obsidian pipes have the ability to suck things in. Um, um, and then the iron pipes allows you to control the flow of things. Let me just show you what, what I mean. So let's just say that you want to be able to suck in um, drop item and put it back into this main pipe here so that it can be disposed of down here. So you start out with an obsidian pipe and you're gonna need a you're gonna need an engine to drive it. Always need some kind of redstone. Put it here. And this is an oil uh, engine, so it needs oil. Put a little bit in. All right, so now this thing is pumping. Um, I want to put it in, oops, into the main pipe. Anything that this thing sucks in, I want to put into the main pipe. Okay, so here is where the, the iron pipe becomes useful. Now, when material comes from here into the main pipe, you certainly don't want to push it back that way, because that's where the source is coming from. You want the material to always go flow this way, all right? So you place iron pipe here, and then you connect uh, that, like so. Now, with a wrench, you can control the direction. You right click on it, and as you can see, the clear area is the destination. Okay, the clear area is where the material is going to flow. So let's just say you want to block this side off, right click on it, and material coming from here is going to flow that way, which is what we don't want. What we really want is like so. Okay. So now, let's just test this. If I drop an item, it's going to get sucked right in here, flow down, that way, and into the... Uh... <laughs> Alright. You drop it at the wrong place. Let me try this. Uh -huh. You gotta be in front of it. Hey, how come it's not working? Uh uh, torches. Excuse me, bye bye. <laughs> I'm burning. <laughs> oh, this is weird. It's not working. I wonder if it needs a little bit of uh, warming up. Oh well. Just have a cake while I'm waiting. No. I think you're seeing a bug here of some sort. Obviously, it's not supposed to do that, but but it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to collect them. I'm just gonna try and collect the engine. <laughs> <laughs> I 
think there was something wrong, probably a bug of some sort for that, that one particular scenario. But anyway, so let's try again. So this is a, a wooden engine, a redstone engine, engine. It's not as powerful, but it should work still. Yep. Uh, incoming? Yep, yeah, it's working. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Alright, let me also turn on this, uh, the quarry as well. Come back here! And so, you shouldn't see any material flowing left. I got the engine back! I got behind the engine back. And it's working as expected. So, minus that little glitch, I think we proved that, uh, you know, it's, it's working. And there's also golden pipes, and all it does is speed it, speed the drop, the items up. Just yeah, you guys can figure those out. I, I think these are more practical. The, the other ones just speed it up. If you connect them in, in a series with these things, it'll just speed up the flow. Hi guys. Thanks for watching again. Bye.
We've got the sand coming in. Got the coal coming in. There you go. Turns it on. Should see glass coming out. I think it generally takes about five, six seconds for sand to be smelted. Oh, I see it. I forgot to turn on this one here. So it's queuing up in there. Yep, that engine is driving it out. Yeah, you see the glass coming out? Yeah. Here it comes into the chest. There you have it. Glass. Alright, thanks everybody for watching.